Okay, we're working on a new bike over here. He had a loose handlebar, he said. Let's see how loose it is. Here's the bolts broken. That's probably why it's loose. He said his bolt wouldn't come out. Hmm. What kind of risers he got in this thing? Looks like some all thread probably is in there. That's why they broke. Can't use braid two all thread. All right, we're gonna use the official Harley tool here. Oh, those are some kind of Harley studs. Those are cheap ass Harley studs. That's why they came out. That's on this. Oh, look at that lock washer. That's a rubber filler. Is what that is. Alright, so now we need a punch. I don't see no punches down there. Alright, we need a punch. Punch and a hammer. Uh, that looks like about the right size punch. Alright, we're gonna knock it out with a big ass hammer. Let's see. Let's put this where we can kind of see what we're doing over here. Barely see though. Bright lights gonna kind of screw the video up a bit. Oh, you're back. It's the time to catch the parts and I hit your bike with them. Close enough. You got that one? Yes, it's how they come out. Yeah, you're blocking the video pretty good there. Let me ask you here, but I don't Chuck them. Chuck them. Chuck them. I don't know where the bolt went. Where'd the bolt go? There it is. I have to save this. I show it to Jackie. It's kind of a stud. Oh, look at that. Looks like a piece of all thread. <laughs> all right. You can't see squat out in the sun. So anyway, here's the uh, rubber. Or not rubber, it's urethane of some type. I, I think this side had the, had the uh, lock washer on it. Trying to get a little extra pressure on it. Where's that stud? Stud. I think a stud. Broken one? Uh, I'd rather have a good one, but whatever. Okay. There we go. So that's a Harley stud, looks like to me. So he sheared off one of the bolts off of that. Now the torque of this is governed by the height from here to here. So, see how there's no compression on that? So why was this thing not all the way in? See, for some reason this rubber wasn't all the way compressed in there like it should have been. Oh. That's why they had to stoop the washer on there, trying to get oh. extra squeeze out of it. Yeah. And when you use a stud, see how much they undercut them right here? That's why it shears them off. It didn't even shear it off there though, it sheared off in thread. Yeah. Usually it shears them off right there at the base. Oh well. Looks like you broke it recently. Yeah. So how many, uh, how many weeks has it been loose? Only a couple days. A couple days? You've been riding with one bolt. That's pretty safe. Yeah. I don't see a problem there. I'm thinking we need to upgrade. I was worried, but I ain't. You're not worried no more? No. Because now it has no handlebars. Correct. That's right. You're not worried anymore. It appears that these are genuine Hurley. They must triple be. Trees because they fit tight. The aftermarket ones, these things just rattle around in there. Alright, we need to upgrade you to uh, some better quality stuff here. I think these ones are screwed up already. You want new ones or you want to use these again? 
Let me see your clamp. Block part. Okay, these take bolts. Got any bolts? They're in there. What bolt? Bolts. Oh, just these. These take our studs. These take studs. I mean, not bolts. Just these. So that's why you're using this. You're using this crap. I like bolts because I don't like studs. See how these are threaded on both sides? So I like the ones that have a three bolt to go all the way through it. You want to put a three bolt on there or you want to use another stud thing? No, I want to put on a better one. I don't have any of these. Yeah. Well, I might have one somewhere, maybe, I'm not sure. You want to put a bolt in there? Whatever you think. I'm thinking a bolt. It's got to be one inch. One inch what? Riser. You know, it's got a one inch handlebar. No, I mean height. Height? So it gets under my cowl. These are like inch and they are. These are low. Yeah, but you know what I had to do? Yeah, I told you, you, you butchered your top clamp. I had to put washers under that mm -hmm. to raise it up a little. Yeah, well, you also cut off something that was on the front of here, too. That I have no idea what this crap was either. And you also broke some clips down there we don't have either. All right, we're going to put a bolt on this thing. How much dark in here? lights on again. Alright, so we're going to do an upgrade on this bike. I'm not going to run that no more. You can go over here, grab some of these quality pieces over here. Yeah, it looks like about the right one. Appear to be about the same height. And these take a bolt. And they're taking uh, bolts on the handlebar too. Yep. Ooh, lights back on. These are ugly chrome. I don't see them anyway. Yeah, somebody made a mess over there. So they need a bolt. Take that out. Don't have a bolt you want. Here we go. Oh, I didn't get you any riser bushings. Do you want some riser bushings? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, these are made in Taiwan. Gotta be good. See that mine's lower? Nice. These are stock height. These are an eighth inch lower. You know why these are an eighth inch lower? So I can get that top piece on? Yes. <laughs> you just attacked me. He goes, yes. <laughs> That's why they're made that way. Yeah, I'm gonna wash her. Where's that cover down there? Huh? Well, I just did it this way. That's the best way. But the eighth inch difference. If the eighth inch makes a big difference. How much was a wash you put on there? About an eighth inch. About an eighth of an inch. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah, I'm almost like they knew what they were doing. Alright, now we need some uh, clamp bolts and stuff. You got any clamp bolts for that? I do not. Oh jeez. Why not? Need some riser bushings too. Let's see, as I recall, I used to have some stuff laying over here someplace. Yeah, those aren't it. Where they at? Uh, the plug wires. Yeah, this is Fritz's stuff. No, that ain't it either. Uh, nope. No. What's that? Nope, that ain't it. More junk, junk. Yeah, junk. Good junk everywhere. These aren't the right boxes. Ooh, that's close. Ain't that easy. Let's see. One of these boxes has riser junk in it. Yeah, these aren't it. There's risers. No, those are rockers. Rocks, more rockers. I'm almost out of rockers. Yeah, I yeah, got a couple left. Uh, that's good shit. Back out of that drawer. Uh, let's see. Ah, I knew I had them somewhere. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I knew I had them. Found them. All right. You like chrome, don't you? I can't see it. Oh. Well, you want me to use chrome? I'm going to use some cheap-ass shit. Cheap-ass shit. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. It might be the right length. Are those rubber? What, these? These are handlebar bushing kits. Yeah, but it's not rubber, is it? It's for custom applications, it says. Okay. You know what's in there? 
You want to use this? No blood yet, that's a good sign. Ooh, chrome. Is there a lock washer in there anymore? Must be. No. I'm going to give you a lock nut. Here's that tube we need. See, the tube controls how much you squeeze it. Are those rubber? And the urethane. The urethane, ain't it? Some between the urethane and rubber. I'm going to call them plastic. How's that? So the tube controls how much you squeeze the rubber. So they give you no lock washer? Okay. You know, you know stinking lock washer. So I'm going to use one of these. One of these over here. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. I'm a dumbass. Just put it in there like that. Ah, uh, that might work. What do you think? It's gonna work. Maybe. It might yep. work. Give me all the parts for this. Where's all the parts? I need a rubber. Rubber. We can get this camera out of light because the video sucks at the light in the face. What do we need? The headlight you showed me last week. The headlight? You mean the one that works? The one that hopefully works. Oh. This is made for Japanese parts. Can't get it in. Tight hey, squeeze. What do you mean, don't fit? Is that good enough for you? It's not working. This video sucks. I can't see nothing. That's a garbage can. Yeah, we're over here though. Alright, so you put the two rubbers in first, then you put the bushing in. What about those? There you go. Take it all. Here, like this here. Squeeze like that. Go like this. Where's the hammer? Got a hammer? Hammer, 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 hammer. Get a hammer. Get a hammer. Get a hammer. Like that. Custom. Okay. There's a riser. Razor bolt. Washer. Don't lose them. It might be the left side. I think that's the right side. I think that's the left side. Where's your lock and tight? You know how you put chrome against chrome? Yeah, it gets loose. It usually calls up. And it gets really tight.
What kind of lock tie you want to use? What kind? Anything? Yep. How about crappy glue? It don't come out. Here it is. You're nuts in the way there, boss. The whole partially plugged. The lock cut acts like an anti galling to a device, too. Oh, customers. Mine didn't go that far. Hey, dumbass, you gotta put the bolt in the hole before you can rotate it that way. Put your finger out of the way, couldn't see what you're doing. He's being a dumbass, he's doing like this. So the bolt goes in a hex, then it acts like a wrench. There, now you can rotate it like a wrench. And you push it back out again like that, it doesn't work very well. Do you need some help down there? Yeah. You one handed too, like one foot? or? Yeah, one foot, one hand. <laughs> Nothing in between? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not a damn thing? <laughs> yeah, triple nut. Trial again. Okay, we got this. Here's your wrench. I do cross. Be busy for a minute. What do I do? Cross thread it? Is that cross threaded or something? No, it's just tight. Okay, where's your handlebar? No, just lay it down there. Lay it on it. That's all you gotta do. Put the bar over. There you go. Line it up. Line it up. There you go. Does it fit? Yep. Does it fit? Rotate your riser. That's not fitting. There, you have to squeeze in to make it fit. Okay, that's in there. Where'd you clamp? Right there. Right there. Hey, looks like the bolts will work. Hey! We just need some nuts. Oh, now you did it. You broke it. Dumbass. Dumbass. Even a dumbass is knowing to be a dumbass. See, that's how it works around here. Okay, you need four nuts. You got four nuts? Nope. Got two nuts? I got two nuts. That's good. That's all you need. Oh, I don't work very well. Okay, 5 16th course. Cheapo nuts you can't see. I got dark in here. Oh, I got bright again. The camera don't know what to do. Just fucking manhandle it, I guess. Here's your nuts. Where's your socket? Put my thick nose on there. Where's your socket? What do you do with the socket? You weren't using it. Finger in there with a nut on it. And you said you couldn't figure that out. Jeez. I take back half the stuff I said about you. Look at your hand, dumbass. Don't it? take back anything. Don't take back nothing, okay. Well, we don't know. That was only the first one. It might have been beginner's luck. It was. Yeah, it has to go in the hole. It's got a hex cut in there. Come on, we're going sideways. There you go. See, it was only beginner's luck on the easy one. <laughs> Wait till the back ones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> next ones. <laughs> Move your hand. Think you had a problem with those, huh? Yeah, here, this one's on your side. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do both parts of this job now. You're holding the handlebar, holding the bolt, turning the bolt, and holding the nut. Can you handle it? Now, if you put the nut in upside down, it doesn't screw very well. Did you put the nut upside down? No. Yeah, yeah, you had it right side up. Good. Look at that. Well, now you can't get it back at all. <laughs> Push the bolt down. Rotate it. There you go. What, you can't turn the wrench with the other hand? No. <laughs> no. Last one. 
Last one. Last one. Famous last words. Yeah. Hot damn. This proves that anybody could put a set of handlebars on. <laughs> All right, how'd that look? I have to put up a new ship on my wife. I'm not your wife. In here. You got a wrench right there. You got to figure out how to use both hands. I got the bars. Okay. I'd recommend using the extension too. That Allen there is too small. I go with a bigger one. I'd use the extension. It's in your hand. What are you doing? Why are you putting the wrong backwood on there? <laughs> there we go. I was trying to give you some tips there. Got ahead of you. <laughs> Shouldn't be that tight. What are you doing wrong? All right, slow down. Get the other ones. Don't tighten everyone at once. Good. Don't get no, no, don't get carried away. We're not done yet. Okay, put that over there. Get the big, uh, get the big one out. There you go. See, you're on the ball. You knew what the next part was. Now you can run it naked with all those chrome parts on there. And once that gets the rubber, stop turning that one. Go back to the other one. Okay. You can kind of pull them down equally. Okay, get the other one going a little bit. I'll do them all equal. Cool. Okay, here is this. Now, normally I'd say let the half fork help you, but it's the frame, but I'm gonna have to hold it now because I don't want the headlight to fall off. Pull on the handlebar over there when you yank on it. Hey, that one's loose. Oh, watch the chrome over there. Oh, geez, you're scratching my wrench up. <laughs> Thought you had that pulled in already. Trying to get snug. Is it tight? It's tight. Tight enough for you, or you want me to torque it? I want you to torque it. You want me to torque it? Yeah. Look, you're worn out there. I am. You gotta hold this now. So you think you didn't tighten it very much? Nope. Yeah, it's getting tighter now. Alright, that one's tight now. Alright, you're tight. The top one's out. Got a job for you. Yep. What's your new job? You want your finger over the lens. The headlights next. No, it's called get your butt up on there, put the handlebars where you want them, and make sure they're straight. I need to get up in there.
So you get the handlebars where you can see where they're straight, then you torque them down where you're straight. Looks straight to me. Let me see. This is a little off on this and this. What's off? This and this. Oh well. What'd you tie these things up to? Oh, that Allen screwed up. That's a bad Allen. Solid. Solid. Not twisting like they were before? Nope, they're not broke. They're not broke? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> Got half a chance still? Give me time. Give me time? All right, we got the cover. We don't want to do that yet. Why? I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put a new headlight in it. What's that got to do with this? Oh, we can put that on. Headlight's over here. This is the headlight cowling. Once you get a couple of these screws in there to hold the cover on. Okay, get some more screws. Was there five or six on this one? Uh, no idea. No idea. Well, this one don't line up very well, so something's wrong there. Okay, let's get this one up on here. There's some missing. Well, this one doesn't line up anymore, so. You like that one? We didn't need that one anyway, did we? Mm -hmm. We got to make one. you in charge of videotaping again. I'm gonna drop that one too, King. You got a light on? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Can't see if the light's on. There's a light. Get in charge of that. Give me some screws. I want screws! Do that? Yeah, I have to move around the other side. Let's see, you hold the screw and push it in. Oh, shit. Hey, guess what? That one still don't line up. You got down here. Okay, this one you got in the wrong hole. Hold that cover on there for me. You stuck it in the wrong hole. See the big hole there? Uh -huh. There is no hole there. That's why it didn't fit. I see a hole there either. It's there it is. Hole. So you use a crack hole, it looks better. Now you get one up here to the top to get the other angle going. American-made parts we're using? No idea. I'm thinking this screw here is a problem. Yeah, we had that one in there. Hmm. This one's 
causing a problem down here. Was this one in there originally? No, actually this one was a slotted one. Well, I know we had one up in the top up here, so we need to get this one in. Okay, that gets that one going. Obviously this one lines up here. Some extra screws here. Where's that one that fell? I don't know. There it is. That's a sheet metal screw. That's a sheet metal screw. What can I say? It's not supposed to be a sheet metal screw. It's supposed to be a threaded screw. Okay, so what we got lined up here. So this one here was a straight slot. For some people that would be a problem. Yeah, they had that one over there. Well, we're gonna put it over here. <laughs> the studio is too big. What do you have the studio run off to? Right here. See how that one fits in there better? Mm -hmm. up but just a sheet metal screw not the right screw All right. trying to make me use bogus parts in your bike you know bogus shit you know I'm not gonna do that all right I'm gonna go find a good screw we'll be back okay what are you doing over there fucking these are supposed to go in the top up here no they don't they go on the side hmm? they go in here I don't, listen, I don't listen to customers because they don't know anything. They don't scratch it up. I'm going to do this one handed. Well, how are you going to do that one handed? I'll do it like this. See, I did that one handed? Yeah, you did. Can you do yours at all? I can do mine, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could do one in it. Okay, I'm done. What's your problem? <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Let me get the bottom in too. <laughs> I'm old. That's my problem. There's a hole there. Look at this. These bolts are way too long for the bottom, but if I did cheat. I used my knee. The precision knee. Those don't line up very well. There we go. I got that one to start. I don't think that's the right size. There it is, okay. What are you doing over there? I already did mine. What are you waiting for? You have to start. That's your pick. Huh? Do you need help over there? Yeah. What's the problem? I got my side done. You know, we're not going to do a three hour video here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go in the hole. There you go. Why are you going in sideways? Pull Someone the bolt toward me. <clears throat> you have to hold the bolt straight when you put it in. Oh, close. I'll wiggle this around a little bit. Find the hole. All the parts have to line up. Can I make fun of you some more? Fuck. Here, look up. You got enough wasted time. Yeah, don't hold your finger on the camera again. Right. Over the fence. Don't do that. Where's the water bowl? Let's get the hard one first. There you go. Do it like that. It's exactly how it's done. Why can I do it and you can't? Because you're a mechanic. Oh. Because I'm not a full fledged dumbass anymore. <laughs> I've moved up in life. Moved up one notch. Now I'm just dumbass. <laughs> okay, you got a half inch around here? 
Yep. Good. So look like? Looks like it's in that box. Toolbox. Toolbox. That's a battle box. There's a hole right over here. So we stole the hole. <clears throat> you mean you threw it back in the box after you're done with it? Of course I did. Does it look like this one here, the little worn out one? No, I used the open end. Well, that's the new one. Oh, yeah, it's my upgraded one. After 40 years, I replaced it with one of those vintage, old, identical to mine, but not as bad. <laughs> Same color, so I can recognize it. <laughs> okay. How's that look? Looking nice. Get that top piece on. I shouldn't have to put washers under it, right? Now we got to tighten the headlight down. No, we got to exchange it. See, after we got the cowling bolted in, and then we tighten all these screws up. I should have tightened this up before I tightened these up full up. I did screw up there, but can't get good help. Yeah. Which one's left? That one. This one? The loose one? That's it. Okay. You want to change out this? Yep. You know how to do that? Nope. You got to undo the screws. Good thing I don't steal bikes and part them out, huh? No, you're... <laughs> you'd be too slow for that. Too slow, dude. <laughs> I'd get arrested before I had to fucking take a part, huh? Still need that spring, huh? You don't want to broke it on there. You broke it. I got it off. I didn't break it. Yeah, it was broke. Like the same guy taped this one on. What else did I tape the other part on? Yep. See the evidence of the tape? I'm sure there's a reason why I did it. If you lay it back down like it comes off, yeah, it goes on. So how many bulbs did you have left? I have uh, no load beam there. I can't see. It's a quartz bulb. We can't see it there. I know. All right, we'll go find you another one. We'll be back. Is it red? It's red. That means you're recording now. So what did we miss? A lot of fun comments? No, too late. Should have been here. Is that one going in or is it just script? And that one strip, what do you think? Yeah, maybe that's why you had to tape on it. What's that sheet metal screw one you had? Ah! I know what you did with it. You took it with you. I stole it. Oh, that tightened. Not really. It's a headlight, though, it's not that important. Yeah. Okay, where's that wire you broke? It's still sticking in there. One's in the box. What box? That box right there. It's not there. It's in the blue box. Blue box? What blue box? It's in that box right there. There it is right there. Not that one. Where's the other piece? I want a piece with a hook on it. It was in the headlight. Not in the headlight. This is the piece we don't need. I told you don't lose that piece. It was in the headlight bucket. It's laying in the bucket over here. Remember I told you don't lose it? Oh, that's in the bucket yet. No, it's not here anymore. It's gone. Maybe it fell in the bucket. No. I told you don't lose it. Did you lose it? Apparently. What did you lose? You, you, mean, you didn't lose the broken piece. <laughs> but you didn't keep the part we needed. That's the part that keeps it from falling off. That's what keeps it from coming this way. So you didn't keep the part we needed. Jeez, I'm sure glad I told you not to lose that part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we need a little clip with a titty on it. It's on the floor somewhere. You leave it in a tool bucket. I don't think so. See that? It's right there. Right here. Put the cameras at. See the camera? There it is, right there. <laughs> ah! That's why we're dumbass didn't lose it. Good job, you didn't lose it. You put it in a safe spot. Put it in a spot where I could find it. That's right. Where was that? Spot On the floor. <laughs> Move it out. <laughs> Come on, pull it off. Okay, this goes up in here and it keeps from falling off. I forget how it was in there though. I think it was in there like this. I did have it was in there wrong. So it goes in there like that, and this lens catches on it, and that's what holds it in. Jeez, what like a Mickey Mouse. But I think they had it in there upside down and backwards. That's probably why it was broken. It's broken again. The other piece just broke. So now it doesn't work at all. All right, so you need that part. Where's this part at? In your box. Now Toolbox. we need. Now Somewhere we need a new okay. part. Now we need a new one. Man, I can't take you nowhere. Jeez. There was a new one I bought from here. New what? That little piece. What'd you do with it? You know how I know? Why? But you sold me this whole piece with it. That's how I know. Well, I'm about to, right to sell you another one. I'm about to sell you another one of those. There's a whole bunch of those up there. All that plastic way up there. There's a whole bunch of them up there. <sighs> so that was some cheap ass import stuff I sold them. Let's see, I might have a couple laying over here if I'm lucky. Let's jump over here. What's over here? Oh, this one's have a damn stupid hood on it. I don't want the one with the hood on it. Damn crap. What's underneath there? Can't tell. There. Yeah, perfect. That's the one I want. Hey, look what I found. Yeah, I found one. This has a separate hood on it. Yeah, I got them with a built in hood, too. You like the one with the separate hood, though, don't you? I don't give a shit. I just need that little piece. That's right there. With a screw. You got a new one, though. That one's dirty. We got the rust coming through. I'm not buying another one. Why not? I already got one of those at home. Well, you got one of these clips at home? No. Well, that's what we need is that clip right there. You got those? No. That's what we need. Get out. We'll be back. Okay, here's our clip. Steve with all the package over there. So this just goes in there like that, up in the center where you want it. Drops down into there like that. And that just hooks in the top of the hole right here. And that keeps it from falling out. That's all we got in there to do it. See it jams in there. And you line up your hole down here in the center. Does that look like it's straight on your view? Looks straight. Screw in the bottom. Where's your screw? There. What was that sheet metal screw you had earlier? That's what goes in there. You took it with you. I stole it. Stole it. Good thing I know where it's at. <laughs> See, I put it where I could find it again. So now I can use my uh, spotlights. Maybe. And maybe he's right. Yeah, the hole is under there. Hopefully we're lined up close. Yeah, it looks like I got it running right. Yeah, see, now if you put the sheet metal screw where it belongs, it's good. And that screw you found on the floor that was missing was the one you should have been using. That was this one. Yep. See if that top one. piece fits now without the spacers under it. You tell me it will. What top piece? Top piece. Uh, this piece? Yes. I'm not in charge of that. You told me it would fit. Well, I told you it had the right riser. I didn't tell you it fit. 
Jeez. You gonna hold me to this stuff? Look at that. You're gonna hold me to what I said? Is that what you're doing? And the last rise was uh, uh, the redneck foot in. Fucking, uh, I had to uh, put uh, washers underneath this. <laughs> they were too hot. It's because you didn't use the right risers. <laughs> I want to take those washers with me. Hey, I'm keeping those. Those are chrome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I figured. Uh, give them the next guy. Watch your arm. Get out of the way. Look at that. The handlebars don't move. Okay, where's that hole at over there? Hold that right there. Thank you. Celebrity. Yeah. yeah. People calling the phone left and right. That's what Hounds used to they did that before I did YouTube. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes. A little off. Yeah, I can't see that from where I'm sitting. Oh. A master some rebuild kit? You want a master some the rebuild kit? Any idea what size it is? I don't know if you have a three quarter or you have a five eighths. What do you got? How many discs you got? Okay. Bye. Okay, so we gotta make sure it fits on here. And the other thing we gotta center up, make sure it doesn't rub on the bar right here. So you got room to clean mm -hmm. Now this one doesn't want to go down any further for some reason. And it needs to go that way slightly. So you got a bigger gap here and here, and that yeah. will help you here. But I can budget a little bit. And we got clearance on the other side over here. So see how you got clearance here a little bit now? Yeah. And you look on the other side over here, you can see it's even on this side. So this made correctly on this side. Perfect. Got a gap here and got a gap on this one. So now when you move your bars, which are pretty much inflexible at this point, because they're stiff ass rubber. Oh, they were rubber? They're rubber urethane plastic stuff. They call that urethane, but who knows what they're made out of. Plastic crap. Okay, now get on the bike and give it a yank heave-ho and see what happens. Put the brake on and hit it. Need some room? Are they moving? Nope. Do that again, I couldn't see. No, I move. It's moving. Is it? Barely. Oh, barely. Barely. It's not moving. It's not turning sideways like it was. I hit that wall at 80. I want those bars to stay where it's put. That's right. I would do too. How come this is jammed under here? Yeah, that's why it wasn't lining up. Close. Get this crap out of the way. All right, get on there and see if it lines up. Did you put dust on your seat? Okay, the handlebars where you want them. We got to move them back a little bit. That's fine. That's right where you wanted them? Yeah, see now they're moving. Get these more Wheaties in the morning though. That's your exercise machine now. All right. How come you didn't put the fender cover on correct? Jeez. Are my lights working? No. No. The low beam's on though. High beam's on. Yeah, they're on. They don't go on, see, but they go off that high. Yep, high beam's on. Yeah. These two are on. No. Go back the other way. No, no. Go back the other way. That will be one off. What happened? It was on. Oh. 
The low beam was on the first time. Now, now it's you not got on. no low beam. It's yeah. the same as before. Flip it on. The other way. Turn on this. Huh? Turn these on. When you first did it, we had everything was on. Now it's not on. It was all on before. We got all the beams on. Okay, these lights going off too. Flip them off. Go the other way. Oh, those are staying on. The running lights are staying on. So what you do? The little beam. The bad wiring. It was on for a minute. It's a bad bulb. And the first, it didn't blow out. It didn't go like that. Yeah. All right, pull this off. We'll check it. See if we got some power in there. We'll be back. Okay, let's see what we did in here. See what you broke. Me? Yeah, you. Your bike. I broke the riser. You did do that too. That's two things you broke. Good thing to break two riser bolts in the headlight. <laughs> yeah, problem then. Two riser bolts. <laughs> that would be a problem then. Maybe it's just. Uh... Okay, what's your headlight? On? Yeah. Spot lights aren't on, so you're not on low beam. You're not on anything. There's high beam. Okay, there's low beam. These aren't on again. Well, they are. Let's get them on. Okay, low beam is not working. Okay, turn the spots off. Why not? You jump like everything else. Yeah, that might be enough power there to do something. Turn on your high beam. Turn it off. Get a little power to your low beam circuit. Some lights not on. So you won't need any more power to it. So where's this yellow wire going to? So you got a crappy ass push on connector on that thing. So that ball, so that ball probably works. I don't know. I'm not that far yet. Put it right here. Where's your light still on? No. You still got power? High beam? No, that's high beam. That's low beam. That's low beam. Okay. See how it goes on and off? Free switch. Back to low beam. So that works. Okay. So your connector here is, oh, see how it's all white, corroded, <laughs> shitty looking? It's corroded. Almost like you. White, shitty, corroded looking. White, shitty, corroded dude. That's the one. So, that's why I don't like using barrel connectors on Harleys. Especially if they get in and your water. Right here. I told you I bought it off a red neck. Oh, I can't see your neck. I can't see what it is. Yeah. You get in there. I'm going to go in circles a couple more times on the camera.
It might not be that, Keenan. Well, you got power to, to wire that, to that. You just don't have power to this connector. The problem is getting the connector to go together because I'm lacking a little bit of space. Space, I'm getting my hand in here. I'm trying to squeeze it so far as I don't have any access to that either, per se. Okay. Okay, light still on? Yeah. Okay. So we got? Yep. Your headlight over there. Your headlight. So much for me selling you junk parts. Well, you guys still junk parts. I sold the, the clip, right? <laughs> <laughs> Believe that one on custom chrome, not me. <laughs> so I was barely touching that connector because I first hit the bulb, it was on. You watch the video, you'll see it. But it's all corroded. So it wasn't on there very good. So I gotta take the bucket back off to fix it, right? The wire, yeah, you gotta go in there and put a real connector on the thing. As long as I know how to get it off now. Yeah, if you pull this bucket out, the whole thing will pop out. You got, right. Then you got big access hole. Right. I don't like to take this off again. Now, this screw here is still junk over here, though. Well, it goes with the rest of the bike. So that needs to be a sheet metal screw in that one. Let's see if we got something to put in there to work. Ah. It looks just like that one that we had for the uh, under here. Yeah, I think so. Except this one's a new one. Put the new one on the bottom. No, 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 no. it might not work. <laughs> oh, it's running tight. That's good. It's upgraded. Very upgraded. Okay, I'm done. Tight. Tight. Turn the switch on real quick before we finish it. Here's the light still on, right? I'm gonna wear it out. That's in there. Take that to the bottom. Look at that. Okay, where's that screw that was in there? Nope. Sheet metal screw. Yeah, that's that ugly one that's dirty, crappy. Can't see it. it. Looks just like the one I stuck in on the other one. Yeah. Except this one's used. Except that one's old. This one's vintage. Vintage. But the other one used was old too, but it was a new one. Vintage! Vision's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lights. Time. Camera. Oh. Go up. Handlebars aren't falling off. It's not a very bright beam for low. Is that thing even on? Yeah, it's on. 
Jeez, mine was a hell of a lot brighter than that. It's that fucking battery you sold me. Yeah, piece of crap. The high beam's good. Turn on the low beams. Yeah, they're on. Yeah, these work. Yeah, that thing was kind of like a... Down there it might be working. Yeah, kind of a lady can see me. One to hit you? Yeah. <laughs> the one where I can hold on to the handlebar. The, the one you pull in front of? <laughs> All right, so there you go. You come in for one problem, you got 15 other ones you got to deal with. That's about normal. Yep. I'm not cleaning it, that's up to you. Cleaning what? I don't know. I'm not cleaning it. Alright, that's it for this one. Take this.